one of the things that you have to be aware of with the school here is it matters greatly which version of the PlayStation you're playing on. If you're playing on PS4 or PS5, the enemies, especially in the first major section, what we call school hallway, will behave differently depending on whether you're on the PS4 or the PS5. It will also behave differently if you're on 30 FPS versus 60 FPS. Jordan! You're supposed to be out looking for the other one. What the fuck is this? There are several ways you can handle the first two enemies that you're going to find. The most common one that you see a lot of people do involves running into the doorway to your right immediately after you get control. For this one to work, you must skip the cinematic here. If you don't skip the cinematic, the cinematic ends with the man in the group breaking the window, and then if you try to run forward that way, you will get shot. Here, by skipping the cinematic, we have a few moments extra that will let us run through. Now, it turns out you don't actually need to press square to kill Jordan. You'll see I didn't press square there. All you have to do is basically run into him and you're fine. So this is the cinematic that you need to skip in order to be able to run to the right. So as soon as we get control, we're going to run right. There's actually two things you can do here. So we run right and we pipe this guy twice and immediately crouch and go behind the desk. And then we wait for Dina to kill this one. The way Dina works in this area is after you kill one of these two, she will start shooting the other. How many guys did you so kill? you can actually kill either one. The third possibility here, I go to the left, and this one you can do if you let the cutscene play. Notice, I just shoot her, hopefully in the head, with one shot. That is a much easier shot to make if you have the persistent center dot turned on. I discussed that in an Enough. earlier episode. We gotta get the hell out of here. Notice what just happened there with me taking damage. If you're up, if you're just standing up there for three shots, that guy has time to hit you. In this next area, again, there are multiple ways that you can do this. One of the ways that you'll see in old completion videos involves running down the hallway. We're going kind of down the left side of the hallway here, coming up behind this a desk and we're gonna throw a molly to the right side what's gonna happen is the first two people who come running in here are going to break right now one of those two will immediately break to the left now here's the thing if you're playing on a ps4 you can do this strat it's a very reliable strat on the ps4 if you're playing on the ps5 i do not recommend it you can maybe pull it off if you play on 30 fps so i'm gonna i'm gonna change my display settings here to 30 fps and we're gonna see if we can get it to happen on the ps4 it's very if you do the movement the way i'm gonna show you it's very reliable that 
they will both break right, and you can get two of them with one molly throw. It's very efficient. However, on the PS5, 30 FPS, that works about half the time. The other half of the time, you're going to see one of the two people immediately break to the left. They'll never get close enough for you to get that molly throw, which kills both of them, which makes this strategy much less useful. On 60 FPS, essentially, it never works, right? So we're, we've run 30 FPS here. We're going to see, we're going to do it a few times. We're going to see if we can make it work just so I can show you. How many guys did you see? Enough. We got to get the hell out of here. So Molly equipped, go down the left side of the hallway. Once we hear them yelling, we crouch. Okay, and we got them both. And now if we hit them in time, we can, get, we can get that one. And then we can go back in here. Now, what you will find on more or less anything is the very last guy actually hangs back. So this one's going to come push us. However, I'm not sure why she Got thinks I'm there, but... <laughs> right, so the last one always hangs back until you kill the others, and then he'll push. So here he comes. Right, and we got them all. So that shows you how it works on PS4. I'm gonna go switch back to 60 FPS, and I'll show you what happens if you try to do the same strat on 60. How many guys did you see? Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. It was this way. Move up. Clear the rooms. See? You see that? See, that guy immediately goes to our left. So even though I threw the molly pretty quickly, that is not going to get him at all. And so this is why, like, if you were trying to learn your strats from old YouTube videos and you have a PS5, this is one of those things. It's just not going to be working for you. I've had a number of people say, oh, I was watching all these YouTube videos and I was seeing people do this Molly strat and I can never get it to work for, for me. This is the most likely reason why it's not working for them. <laughs> Killing those first two makes this whole encounter much, much easier. An alternative strat that I like a lot uses a stun bomb here. And instead of running on the left side, we're going to run to the right here. All right. Dive, dive. Clear the rooms. Looking this way, staying about here. All right, so I threw the pipe bomb as soon as I saw that one get in position. He's going to look. Now the next two are going to come forward. And they can go in a number of different ways here. I'm kind of, I'm just getting out of Molly here. All right, we got one coming on the right. They will push to the, oh, nope. If he's lock on, there we go. Now that one is coming to our left. We can actually hide behind here. The final one, like I said earlier, won't push. So we we don't really have to worry about our flank behind us here until we kill this one. So they should lose us right about now. They're not here. Boo, start a search. They can't They're see behind here the desk somewhere. here. They'll come looking through the um, the door here, and we can just crack. And then the last guy will should come running 
down the right room that we were just in. And we should see him. Yep, you can see him through the glass there. Now we just wait for him to come to us. Yep. I was gonna sneak up on him, but oh well. You and good? that. So that's the recommended way to do a school hallway. Right. No. Now, notice we did have some issues with getting that RNG in practice. In my experience, it happens most of the time when you are doing a normal run or when you are sort of loading from a save file. But it appears to be the case that if you get like the RNG where they're, they're running in different funny ways, that restarting encounter is just going to repeat that same RNG. And I'll show you how to deal with those in just a second. But basically, the two basic variations you get, other than, or the, the first one you get, the first variation we got, which is the favored one, is when both of those guys break to the left. Right? And to try to get that, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm running up here. I'm diving when I hit that patch of grass. We do another prone dive. I'm coming up here to this part, th th whatever this thing is to the right of the desk. And I'm uh, sort of aiming the camera a bit to the right. And usually when you do that, the two of them will run left. Then I threw the uh, smoke bomb when I saw the first one crouch behind there because by the time when that happens the second one's going to start to run over here to the left so i need i need to throw immediately so that i can get that stun bomb in before this other one runs too far away and is out of the radius of the stun bomb this same strat works just fine if you get different rng if they both go to the right, you can still do fine with it. You just might have to do a little bit of improvisation. We gotta get the hell out of here. If you come too far to the left when you do this, like if you're here, you can see they did not run the way we expect them to. There should be one going to the right and one going to the left. Now we just have to keep an eye out for how they go. A Molly is your friend here. They might actually lose us. The fuck are they? The fuck are they? Oh, That's the one thing area. that often happens. Find where they're hiding. They didn't push yet. Presumably because they didn't actually see me running in there. Now, eventually one of them is going to come. You can see there's one on the right. And they're likely up oh, there's that okay he's going here if we can get a lock on on either one of them here so they're gonna see us in just a second but we got the lock on I missed my brick on that all right Okay, this one's gonna come. You can see one goes to the back. Roger that. Uh, okay, so he's just right there. Oh shit, really? Ah, ah, ah. Molly is your friend. How did I lose track of the number of people here? Okay, so she's there. She can't see you behind this. They're gone. 
They can't have gone far. She's gonna come in through the doorway, and as she walks in through the doorway, <laughs> bam. So dealing with unexpected RNG here in the school hallway is largely a matter of just learning what the patterns are, how they how they do this, when you're safe to do certain things, and when you're not. Fuck. But once you're down to one, it's pretty easy to sneak up on them. And do it that way. If you're going to do this stun bomb strat, you do need to practice it. You do need to be ready to improvise in that middle section because it's just not guaranteed that those two guys go left with regularity. It is sensitive to how you're moving. If you're too far left, they will split, go into the room, and there's a couple different ways they can do it. But typically, what you just saw there is the basic pattern when they don't both go left. One goes right, one goes left. Sometimes one comes out in the middle. You just have to be watching them. You throw a molly at one of them. Ideally, if they're both out of the room on your right, you can hide where you saw me hide and then wait for them to come to you. You need to practice, like, when you're working on areas like this, you need to practice for different How eventualities, guys, right? Enough. Do not just sort of assume, of okay, I got through it a few times and it's always working because there are going to be times where things don't happen as planned. Now he went, okay, so the guy went right. Now there's different ways, he'll probably immediately go, yeah. okay. We're just gonna grab him there. Now we've got another guy right over there. Okay, it should be... Okay. So I'm just kind of improvising there, like I'm, what I'm doing in this case is looking... Oh, he's right there. You gotta watch where they come in, right? And you gotta keep count of how many are dead. Like I said, but it does not help that she's... Dina sitting there was not at all helpful, right? Because Dina basically alerted her where I could have, um, I could have done something. I was not helpful. But anyway, he's the last there. one. I know you're out there. Now we're just gonna wait. Do watch out for Dina pushing you out of the way here. Right? If you're trying to like crouch here, Dina's very likely to try to steal your, you good? your cover yeah. and, and push you out of here. So what I'm doing there, when when people are moving the wrong way, you see, when that guy breaks right, his most common pattern no. is to come around here and try to flank you from the right. So he gets a molly, right? Um, I managed to molly this one back here because he was, uh, you know, just um, standing there waiting, right? So that was was relatively easy to grab him with that. The And then, you know, a second one coming right is, again, very typical. Use a brick, stun them, use your pipe on them. Um, You'll notice in this scenario, I did not wind up using the stun bomb. It's fine. Save it for later. You have, if you looted everything in downtown, you will have plenty of um, resources 
you will be able to recover your mollies. Uh, there's a lot of rags and alcohol coming up, so don't be shy about using a couple of them, right? If you want, you can use a stun bomb, something like that. Um, but just get through here how you can. So once you're done with school hallway, that is the hardest part of this encounter. The, the rest you have to be careful with, but it's not nearly as challenging. Um, <clears throat> do pick up that bottle. You definitely want a throwable in case something goes wrong in the next area. Once we go out into the next area, we're going to trigger three enemies to drop down. We're going to try to kill them all in stealth. And we're going to try to have Dina help us out. To get Dina to help you, you have to have a couple of conditions at the same time. It has to be in stealth. They can't be actively hunting you. You have to kill the second to last person in stealth. And Dina has to have a clear, relatively close path to grab that final person. If any of those don't happen, then Dina will abort that stealth kill and you'll have to deal with them yourself. So, in this area, we're gonna run out here and we're gonna prone dive into the grass because the, the couple of people drop in. She's already here. We're coming we're behind this planter. And we're just gonna wait here because this guy is gonna come and stop. Wait till he stops. And then we can just get a nice easy self kill on him. Now, at this point, there's one guy inside the school cafeteria and this woman here. I'm trotting over here, but now I'm crouching as I get close because she will hear you if you just trot up to her. We're going to grab her while she's walking. Now, I am pulling her behind this crate, and I'm doing that to give Dina time to grab, to make sure she grabs that guy. If you kill her too quickly, Dina will typically, or often, not always, but often abort that stealth kill. And, and I'm pretty sure the reason that she aborts it is once you make that second kill, that is what triggers this next wave of three more enemies to spawn. And as soon as that wave spawns, the guy in the cafeteria is no longer the last enemy. So Dina's AI says, oh, not the last enemy, I can't make the kill, and she aborts it, right? So hang on to, to the one you grabbed until Dina actually is at least starting to run at the last guy. Now, there's RNG as to how these folks can move. The fastest one is when she comes behind here because then we can just immediately grab her and get a stealth kill. Now, you do have to be careful. There are some RNGs where the bee, one of these guys will be sort of behind you and you can see that that kill. Um, so you do have to watch out for that, but we didn't get that. Now, having killed her, I've gone back to this post. This post is a lovely area to wait. You can just hang out here and as long as you're prone, they can come right up to you at this post, but they will never see you. They will turn, they'll come right up to the post, and they'll turn and walk away. If you're nervous about it, get out a bottle, but they're not going to see you behind this post. Just... So now I'm waiting to see what they do. Um, if we're lucky, one of them will go again behind that same box relatively quickly, or maybe going away from us behind the the planter here. Um, is he, he, okay. he going to go behind the box? Nice. Okay, so he's going right behind the box, so I'm just going to follow him. Oh, he's going to change. Sometimes he'll change his mind, but no, he's going right there. So that's good. We've got him. All right. Now, in this case, Dina's probably not going to take out the last guy. It depends on... She might. Nope, she didn't. Okay. The guy was too far away. She didn't take him out. 
Uh, maybe if I'd held him for longer, she would have. But for the last guy, it's not a big deal. We, we still have our throwable, and we'll just... I mean, I can totally get a stealth kill on him, or just throw it at him and do that. Just end it reasonably quickly. And you're done with these these three ways. Fuck, there's a lot of So, the hallway is definitely the, um, the worst part here. All right, we'll take the opportunity to get all the loot. Just be aware, in case you didn't know, there is a little bit of alcohol over here. A lot of people miss that because they're in a hurry to leave. Okay, so when we get up on the roof here, again, we're going to have three enemies spawning in. They, they kind of spawn in once you get past a certain point. Um, there is some loot over on the table over there, and I want that loot. So I'm going to run over the table, pick it up, and we're, we're just going to... I'm going to, again, show you two different ways you can do this. Um, you can you don't need to kill these people. You can just sneak out or you can kill them. I'll show you how to do both. So we run up here. Have a look here. Fuck grab this stuff quickly. So they're coming in right now. So we want to get in. We want to get under run over here and get under here. Now this guy can look back so we're waiting we're, we're waiting to go to the next thing until they come through see how he's looking our way i'll check over here we're waiting and now we're just gonna crawl now i'm doing this a little bit of a slower way than some people do you'll see some people trot here but i'm doing because i'm doing it kind of a slow way it's safer if you crouch but you can just notice I just went through here and I crouched out. Now they're patrol now once you get in the door, if you're not spotted, you are completely safe. You can loot everything and you can loot and you can loot. Okay. Now let's suppose you actually want to kill them. You know, they're not gonna give you any extra loot. You don't need to kill them, but I will show you a reliable way to kill them if that sneaking makes you nervous. Same thing here. We're going for the same hiding spot. But now we're gonna wait. And listen to all this dialogue. But we're not gonna crawl out. you seen anything? No. Cover this roof. I'll check over here. You sure she's not on the street? Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. So I'm waiting for this woman to come in. past me. Greg went out to Capitol Hill. He should be back She's going to go look over the edge of the building. Be careful you don't go out too early. Once she's paused to look, we just come out and grab her. Now, the other two will see the body. But that's exactly what we want. So we're going to get ourselves quickly into position here. You'll see this guy is coming back from the edge of the roof. I'm waiting for him to just on, sort of get me. there. Now this condenser unit is going to block his view for me so I can get behind him like this. Now they're going to have a little bit of dialogue here. And you're going to wait until after they talk to each other. Skylar? Hey, stop messing around. See what's up with her. I'm on it. Okay, so once their dialogue is finished, just grab him from behind. Don't. Dina will kill the final one for you. And she's gone. All right. Very reliable. Now, these all these enemies 
essentially almost never, very, very rare for them to drop anything. So I don't think it's really necessary that you kill them, but you can if you want. Right. 